Hello everyone. I am Arvind Kumar Sharma and welcome back to Pabli. So today I am going to tell you how you can manage WooCommerce inventory stock using Airtable. Now suppose a person is working in the inventory section, okay, for your product. Another person is taking account of the products coming into the inventory section. There is another person who wants to know about the stock of the inventory section. Okay, for example, we are taking stocks. You can update anything. So you, uh, we are updating stocks here through our WooCommerce. Whenever a product will be updated or the stock quantity of the product will be updated, it will automatically be sent to Airtable database and the Airtable database will automatically be updated according to the stock quantity updated in our WooCommerce account. Okay. Now, this automation is very useful for big companies who are using e-commerce store to, uh, to, you know, to give products to customers online and to, uh, you know, they can easily arrange and rearrange their products according to the stock quantity and then they can update that on their website also. Now to do this automation, we are going to use an integration and automation service, Pabli Connect, which will help us connect WooCommerce and Airtable together. Now, if you want to learn how to do this automation, you have to come with me to the screen. And we are back at our screen. So what we have to do, we have to go to the address bar and type in P-A-B-B-L-Y, pabli.com slash connect. And as soon as we will press enter, we will be redirected here. And here you can see we have two options. Either you can sign in or you can sign up. If you already have an account, you can go for sign in. If you do not have an account, you have to go for sign up. Signing up is absolutely free and we are also giving you 100 free tasks every month. So go and sign up now. Now I already have an account here, so I'll just go for sign in. And now here what I'm going to do, I'm just going to click on login. And after that, I am going to click on access now for Pebbly Connect. Now here you can see I have all the automations made here. So now what I'm going to do, I'm just going to create a new automation. To do that, I'm just going to click on this button, create workflow. And here we have to give the name of the workflow. So I'm going to give it the name. So let us give it the name WooCommerce to Airtable, okay? Now I'll just click on create and as soon as I will do that, I will be redirected to this page here and here you can see you have two windows. First one is trigger and second one is action. Now trigger window is the window where an event is happening at the start of the process. Action window is the window where an event is happening at the end of the process or when the final event is happening. So trigger means when this is happening, action means do this. So what we are going to do, we are going to take WooCommerce here. Now what is happening in WooCommerce, we are having a product updated. So we will go for product updated. So I'll just type in here product and updated. I'll select product updated. And here you can see I have this webhook URL. Now what is this webhook URL? This webhook URL is the URL which will help us connect our uh, web, uh, which will help us connect our uh, WordPress account. Now here you can see we have this webhook URL. Now what is this webhook URL? Webhook URL is the URL which will help us connect our WooCommerce account to our Pebbly Connect account. So what we are going to do, we are going to follow these steps here and then connect our WooCommerce account to our Pebbly Connect account. So it is written here, navigate to left sidebar, WooCommerce settings, go to advanced webhooks, then webhook, uh, webhook data will, box will appear, then give a name to webhook. So let us do this all one by one. So let's just go here. WooCommerce settings advanced after going to advanced we have to go to webhooks and now here you can see we have these webhooks already active here I am going to add a new webhook for me and the name of the webhook will be WooCommerce to Airtable. Okay. Now what we are going to do, we are going to click this uh, status as active topic. So what, what, what was our topic? Our topic is product updated. So we will go for product updated here. Product updated. Delivery URLs. So what we are going to do in this delivery URL, we are going to just copy this webhook URL and we are going to paste it in this delivery URL. Now secret is nothing, API version, API version is this only, we are not going to change it. Now click on save webhook. Now as soon as we will click on save webhook, 
our WooCommerce account and our Public Connect account will automatically be connected together through this webhook. Now what we are going to do, we are going to go for product update. So let's just go to products. And here you can see it is waiting for the webhook response. So we will just go for recapture webhook response. And now we will update a product. So let us just go for this one, blue snowball. So edit this. And what I'm going to do, I'm just going to update its stock, qu uh, stock quantity. So where is the stock quantity? So go to inventory and here you can see the stock quantity is 22. I will make it 35. Okay. Now as soon as I will do that, I will just go and click on update. Now as soon as I will click on update, you will see that I will get a webhook response here and you can see now I have got the webhook response blue snowball USB microphone with uh, two versatile pickup patterns blah 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 you can read it later on and now <clears throat> what we are going to do I'm just going to show you that the quantity which has been updated is here somewhere we have to see okay stock quantity is now 35 now we are going to update it in the air table. So what we are going to do first, let me just show you my air table. This is my air table where I have all the list of the uh, things which I am updating. And let me just go for this one. You can see this is blue USB uh, microphone 54997 is the product ID. And when I will go here, you can see the stock quantity is 22. We are going to change it to 35 through automation. So let's just go back. And here we are going to add another action window, which will be air table. Now what we are going to do, if we want to update something in our air table, first we will have to search for that field. So we are going to click on search record and then click on connect. And now what we are going to do, we are going to go for add new connection and here you can see the, uh, you know, instruction has been given that how to do this, you have to log into your Airtable account, and then you have to get the API key from account section. So go to your Airtable account, get the API key from account section. So go here, copy this API key, go back, paste it here, and click on save. Now, as soon as you will do that, you will see here the base ID is project tracker, but our base ID is WooCommerce. So we will go for WooCommerce. Let me just go for WooCommerce. Now table name is new products, product name is this. Now search value, so what is the search value? Search value is this product ID which we want to search. So we have four, five, four, nine, nine, seven. So what we are going to do, we are going to use a technique which is called mapping and mapping will let us take the data from this window here and it will let us put the data here in this window. So we will map in the ID which is this, five, four, nine, nine, seven and then click on save and send test request. And we should have received a response here, but I do not have a response here. So let's see what's the problem. WooCommerce table name. New. Okay. Uh, sorry friends, the table name is product data and I got confused because I have two tables here in my air table database. So here what we are going to do, we are going to take the product data table name and field name is product ID. And now, we are going to search this value and now we are going to click on save and send test request. Okay. So now you can see we have a response here. So this is how you are going to do this. I'm really sorry for my mistake. And now <clears throat> what we are going to do, we are going to add an another action step. And here again, we are going to choose air table. And here, what we are going to do, we are going to go for action event, which is uh, update record. So we will just click on connect and here I'm not going to add new connection again. I'm just going to use the same connection. And after clicking on that, you can see here also we have to go for base WooCommerce. Now table name will again be the product update. Sorry, product data. And here in record ID, what you are going to do, you are just going to toggle on this mapping button go back and from this second part, you have to take this record ID. Okay, save this record ID here. And now we are not going to change anything from here to description, but we want to make a change in stock. So we are going to click on stock. 
एयर टेबल सॉरी वू कॉमर्स एंड हेयर वी विल सर्च फॉर द स्टॉक एंड स्टॉक क्वांटिटी इज नाउ थर्टी फाइव ओके लेट मी जस्ट गो बैक एंड शो यू बिफोर अपडेटिंग द स्टॉक क्वांटिटी हेयर यू कैन सी द स्टॉक क्वांटिटी इज ट्वेंटी टू ना आई गो हेयर एंड क्लिक ऑन सेव एंड सेंड टेस्ट रिक्वेस्ट and as soon as i will do that you can see the stock quantity will become 35 and now you can see the stock quantity has now become 35 so our automation is successful let us just uh, test this automation with another product so let's just go for uh, drone with hd camera okay let me first just search it here drone with hd camera okay so this is the drone with hd camera and we are updating its stock quantity as well okay it does not have any stock quantity so i'm just going to choose another product here so what is the another product okay so this is 49 which product is this is php a dying language no i do not want to take this one 44 okay complete python boot camp okay take let's take this one it has a stock quantity of 44 so let's change its stock quantity complete python boot camp so let's see where is the course complete python okay so here is the course complete python boot camp let's just click on edit and now we are going to go to inventory where is the inventory okay here is the inventory and now stock quantity is 55 from 44 let's just click on update and it can take some time for your data to go from uh, uh, air table sorry to go from woocommerce to air table database so here the quantity is 44 let me just refresh it and let's see if the quantity changes or not so it did not change so you have to wait for a few seconds or a few minutes here so let's just wait for few minutes and let's just see that the quantity changes or not and you can see i have this response here but uh, why is it 53 did i put 53 there or 55 let me just go back okay i have uh, i have used stock quantity 53 here my mistake i used 53 and said 55 or by mistake i said 55 and used 53 i don't know but the quantity i i used here in woocommerce is the same here in my air table so you can see our automation is successful and here whenever you want to connect your woocommerce to your air table you can do this automation use this automation so that whenever there is a product updated in your woocommerce an automatic product update will also happen in the database of your air table now if you want to use this wonderful workflow you just have to go to my description box and copy uh, clone this into your account and for that you need to have an account and for that you need to go and sign up signing up is absolutely free and we are also giving you 100 free tasks every month so do not wait go and sign up now hasta la vista so thanks a lot for watching our video i hope you understood everything now if you want any other events to added in our module what you can do is you can mail us at admin at the rate pebbly.com if you have any queries regarding this software you can just ask your queries at this website at this link and if you want to check the prices you can visit here to this link and check the prices of the software now i just want to tell you that automation is a boon for us and it can change the future and i will you know suggest you to take this as quickly as possible which will ease your task save your time and save you a lot and lot of efforts thank you